Hey guys, Shirtshirt Shirt here. Welcome back to another video. That is right, guys. We are here today, and we're going to be ranking all of these home designers in Toka Life World. We've got all the packs here um, as of today. And yeah, today we're going to be ranking them and seeing um, where things go. Um, so this is totally just my opinion on uh, where I'm going to place these. And first of all, we have the Cozy Restaurant which um, is the most recent pack that has come out, obviously, for today. There's probably future packs now. Yeah, I'm going to put this guy probably right in uh, a solid B tier right now. And the reason for that is because it is pretty, pretty solid pack. Um, basically, instead of designing a home, you can design your own restaurant, which is super cool. And again, it doesn't have to just be a restaurant. It can also be a house. And it comes with a bunch of cool things, a bunch of, like... Um, a big whole kitchen set, which is so cool. And if you're really into restaurants, then obviously this pack would be amazing for anyone who loves designing things like that. And it's really, really nice to have. Again, it's got a bunch of really nice furnitures and stuff in there. But the reason it's not as high as it could be is because, well, there's only like one sort of set of a kitchen. So if you really just want to make a kitchen, then you can't really go too far with it. You have to kind of stick with the furniture that the pack came with. And don't get me wrong, the vibe of it is super nice. It's really cozy, but it's it's definitely fancy as well. And if you want to make more of like a diner um, or some other sort of restaurant, then I mean, you I guess you can do it, but not as well as I would like. But overall, though, the pack is really cool. It's got like a flambeing pan and everything. It's awesome. And that is why I am putting it right here in B tier. All right, guys, so the next pack we have here is the bonsai building right here. Um, okay, so I kind of have mixed feelings about this. The reason for that is because it is just a house and there's no furniture, but it is a really, really nice house. But I just wish they did add some sort of furniture, like just a little bit more into this house, like a cool, like just more bonsai furniture or something like that to fit in with a bonsai building. It'd be really nice. But again, of course, it's unleashing creativity and you can completely customize it whatever you want with all a bunch of other packs i think they wanted to make this to fit in with the care and core furniture pack because like most of those items in that pack actually fit really well with the sort of building that we have here so it is pretty nice but again i just wish there was just a little bit more furniture in because you really cannot have too much furniture like i want more so i'm gonna put it right here in c tier all right, and next up we have the My Room Furniture Pack. This is immediately going up in the S tier. I absolutely love this pack. This is up here because honestly, the way that we have like these four unique styles in this pack of designing your own room is so cool. We have a gothic one, we have this cool aesthetic one, and we have like a cool bright pop fun color one and a really cool futuristic one with a bunch of gaming stuff. It is honestly just so amazing. I actually love it a lot. We get to mix and match from all all of the different kind of designs and the furniture oh mwah, chef's kiss it is so nice i actually love it a lot look at this it is so cool all of these amazing things in this pack and that is why it deserves s tier in my opinion next up is the fluffy friends house now this one is actually super nice and it's so cute um but i think i'm gonna put it probably in oh i think maybe b i think b or c i think i'm gonna probably put it in c the reason why it is here guys is because honestly the pack is so cute and it's really nice and it's got a whole bunch of different furniture and what i really like about this um pack is the house more than anything the house is so nice it's got a huge front yard it is so cute i absolutely love it but some of the items i just can't use in other builds like most of it is like cats and dogs themed uh, which is so cute but just uh, it's too much cats and dogs if that makes any sense um like i don't know i just wish that not every single item was like all cats and dogs like just with a bunch of like cats and dog prints on it but then again if you really really do like cats and dogs in dog life world then this is the pack for you but i just don't think it can fit well with other packs as well as other packs can that's why it is staying right there in c tier all right, and the next pack is our first furniture pack, just furniture. It's the creepy furniture pack. And well, this one is actually pretty cool. It's got a bunch of like items that do cool, kind of cool spooky things depending on the environment and what and you know, just clicking on them, they do cool stuff as well. But I think I'm also just going to put it right here in C tier. That's because this pack um well, I guess it's just if you're really into Halloween, then um obviously this pack would be so great. 
but it's just more furniture wise there isn't actually a lot of furniture compared to like there, there's just more clutter items and more just sort of bits and bobs than actual big pieces of furniture now we have cool beds and sofas all that stuff in there but i just wanted just a little bit more to make make this huge like cool creepy house um obviously um there's no house in this either maybe adding like a huge haunted building would have been so cool because um I kind of use the Misty Cottage pack with this furniture, which is cool. Um, but I, just, I don't know. I guess it's just kind of like an add-on to the Misty Cottage house with the pack. Because that house actually has some cool spooky items in this. This just adds a little bit more spookiness. It's a bit, it's a lot more creepier. Let's just say that. Next up is the Romantic Beach House. Now, honestly, this one's really cool. I was not expecting something like this to drop. Um, I actually really like this. I'm gonna put this right here in B tier as well. It's a pretty nice, solid pack. It's got beautiful and cute decorations, super bright and really colorful, and you can really design a whole house out of this. But what does it the most is it enhances weddings in Toka Life World. Like, you can have this beautiful, gorgeous beach wedding and get super ready for it. It's so cool. I can't imagine having a wedding in Toka Life World without this pack. Like, if you want all of your Toka characters to get married and stuff, then this is definitely the pack here. And it just adds that, like, extra thing that you kind of need in Toka Life World for, like, big weddings. And next is the Care and Core Furniture Pack. This is definitely immediately going in A right here. This pack is so cool. I actually love it. If it came with, like, a cool house, then it would definitely be S tier for me. But, um, basically this furniture pack kind of fits in with the bonsai building. I guess they're just separate kind of packs, which is, you know, it's alright. But I wish they were together, it would have been so cool. But I think the furniture in this pack is my favorite out of any other pack. The furniture is absolutely gorgeous. It is so nice. It's really clean. It's beautiful. We have some spa things as well. And not only that, but it also adds some weights, trampolines, treadmills, and like a workout bike. All of that is so cool. So it adds like really nice furniture, but also adds lots of gameplay as well. There's a huge spa. Like what more could you ask for? It's so cool. This is definitely a must have. You should definitely get this. It's really cool. I just, it's not S tier because it's just a furniture pack, but it's a really, really good furniture pack. And up next is the local shop. This one is so cool. Um, I would definitely put this one up in A tier right up here. This one is honestly, oh, it's just so amazing. It's definitely something really unique to home designer creating your own shops. That is so cool. It was a really good idea to do this. And honestly, you can do so much with this. There's like three kind of unique stores that you can set up. You can set up like a little nursery, cafe, or just whatever store you want, really. You can go for like a clothes shop or like an electric electronic store you can do literally anything the possibilities are wild and you can also still have this as a house as well like there's nothing stopping you from doing that but it's so cool and honestly it adds a lot more it's it's really big and super spacious and um it adds a lot more to like the role plays and stuff that i want to do as well in case i want to make my, my own store that isn't in Tokyo Life world well now i can do that with this honestly it is so cool the big trailer and everything oh it's awesome and then the next pack after that is the Downtown Loft. Now, this pack is actually, I would say this is a pretty decent pack as well. It's definitely the lowest of the low of B. Um, I would put it in C, but no, it's definitely not a C. It's a B. It's a pretty nice pack. I think what I like most about this pack is the house, of course. The house is super big and it's very spacious. Um, but what I, I don't know, I guess like it's, there's not many um, furniture items in this pack, but there is a cool sort of like fixer upper kind of vibe to it. You can definitely kind of make this rundown sort of apartment if you would like, um, which is really cool. And um, there is a lot of cool, unique um, furniture items in here as well. There's like sporty stuff and cool activities to do, which is quite nice. I think it's a pretty solid pack. I actually do enjoy it. You can make like, a cool hangout area, but obviously the building is so nice because it's kind of like a really cool apartment. And yeah, I just love it about that. But it's got like really nice urban kind of style. It's, it's cool. It's cool. All right, and next up is the Snuggle Cups Furniture Pack. This is definitely going up there, probably an A. Uh, this pack is so cool. It's actually so adorable and really cute. Should I keep it an A or should I put it an S? 
I think I should put it in S, right? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're having our second S right here. This is a good pack. So the reason why it is up there in S tier is because this adds so much to babies and toddlers and little kids, which a lot of people actually have in Tokalife World for like their families and stuff. It just adds so much more to their stuff. Like it is so cool. It has like playhouses and big play areas, little doll houses. Oh my goodness. It is so cute. And what you can do with this is you can build like a little cute baby nursery or a cute baby hangout place. But you can also make a, like a full on daycare. There's that many items. You can build a whole daycare center with like the local shop, which would be pretty cool. Add those two together. You can add so much to this. Oh my goodness. It is so cool. All the packs, little furniture items are actually adorable as well. They all mesh and harmonize well with each other. I think this is definitely a must have pack in your game because it just adds so much to the babies and toddlers and you know, they deserve that. They really do. Ooh, okay, so we have Vintage Vibes Furniture Pack. This pack is actually really, really nice. Um, I think I would put it more in, like, a B. Um, is it, like, more of a high B, though? I think it is. It's, I guess, okay, it's probably, um, it's not as good as the other two, those two packs. I think I put it right there in the middle. It's, it's a very, very good pack. It's a bit better than the Downtown Loft. And the reason for that is because there's actually really, really nice furniture stuff in this pack. And there's a lot you can do with it as well. You can make like an actual like little grandparents home, you know, have older people. We actually have furniture for like older people in the game now, which is really cool. It's kind of old timey, more vintagey. It's really nice. I actually like it a lot. And it doesn't even have to be a house. You could make like a cool museum with this because it comes with like a big piano and really cool stuff. It's like a little chessboard as well, which is really nice. It's definitely something that I actually am happy that we have. Um, yeah, it's really cool. It's just something like a little extra we can have for like um, just a different vibe of house. It's really cool and super unique. Okay, and immediate S tier right here, the Modern Mansion. Wow, 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 what a pack this is. It's S tier because it has this huge mansion with really luxurious decor. It has two floors to it, which is so cool, a huge pool, and honestly, the items are so beautiful. The whole kitchen set and just like cool big sofas and oh my goodness, it's so amazing. It has a 3D printer, which is really nice, and like a whole hot tub as well. Man, this pack is definitely a must. It's just so nice. And obviously, this pack is a modern mansion. But, you know, you could have the house and not make it super fancy and rich. You could make just, just a regular house. Like, I've done that. It's, like, one of the biggest houses in Tokyo Life World. I think it is the biggest. Um, So, yeah, it's just, like, the whole space in general, which makes it so good as well. Yeah, it's a really, really good pack. Ooh, okay, so next up we have the Vacation Pool Villa. This one is a really good one. Okay, this is definitely A tier. This one is so nice because it's just like this really nice vibe to it. The furniture is actually super cool. It's got a bit of an industrial look to it as well as like kind of like a cool villa thing. The bathtub I absolutely love in this pack. It's probably like one of my favorites. And the outdoor area as well with the huge pool is super nice. We got some nice fairy lights and some other cool pool activities and the beds in this are really cool as well and there's some new like foods and drinks in added into this pack as well you get some cool like um tropical drinks and stuff it's really nice it's honestly definitely a tier for me it's a villa i mean a nice vacation villa you can go on vacation here do it up it's super cool all right, so next we have the festive furniture pack. Now, I can't actually remember the last time I used this pack. I think this is going to be our first D. Um, this is because I, I, I just don't use this pack a lot. I mean, it still is a really, really good pack, but I just don't use it often. And I don't know, it's not really Christmas all the time in, uh, or festive in my worlds. Uh, I'm putting one in D anyway. Honestly, it really is a great pack. There's a lot of furniture items in here. It's very festive-y. Um, but I do feel as though we already had, like, a lot of festive items already in Tokyo Life World. I mean, we had a mini Christmas tree, but it it's nothing compared to the big Christmas trees we get in this pack, which is so cute and really nice. Um, if you really are into, like, the Christmas spirit of, of Tokoboka and you want to make a really nice little Christmas um, family or, you know, if it's Christmas time and you want to put the tree up, then you can use this. But I don't really use the pack often, honestly. I mean, the white furniture is nice. I'll give I'll give it that. It has like this beautiful white fireplace and um, there's a bit of consistency in there, which is nice with the furniture. But yeah, that is um, the first D tier. <laughs> 
All right, and next we have the Bohemian house. This one was like kind of like the first kind of add-on to home designers. This house is really nice. They actually updated it as well, added more furniture in there, and the new furniture that they updated is actually really, really nice. I think I'm going to put it in B tier. I think it's above the downtown loft and above uh, vintage furniture pack. I'm going to put it right there. It's a very good pack. This has like your average like kind of family home. It's so beautiful, but with the bohemian style to it. And the furniture items are so great and really pretty. And they did add some new furniture as well to the pack, which looks so nice. It's not here on this trailer, but it is so cute. And the house itself is so, so nice with the big bay window as well with the little patterns in the windows. It's really pretty. All right, we got two more packs. This one is the Neon Rainbow Apartment. This is a solid pack. This one's so good. I actually remember this one and like being, oh my goodness, there's so much like color and brightness to this. It's so cool. Yeah, if you really want to spice things up in your world, definitely get this pack. I'm writing it up here because honestly, it's so fun to build with all of the cool, bright colors. There's a lot of stuff in this pack as well. There's like a nice little um, microwave um, and there's a gumball machine. There's cool ring lights and a nice computer. There's big spotlights and disco lights. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of stuff in here, but it's really cool. And um, yeah, it's super fun to build with. It's got everything a house really needs as well. Yeah, it's really nice. I actually like it. It's very bright and different but that's the thing something like this is so fun it's definitely a more enjoyable experience to build with with all these bright crazy colors there's a, like this floating sort of hanging bed from the ceiling as well it is so cool all right and we finally have the misty cottage pack this one oh i don't know i just feel like it could have been so much better i'm gonna put it in d tier probably above the um, festive furniture pack. I don't know. I just feel like the vintage vibes furniture pack and the creepy furniture pack, these two, this one here and this one here, kind of like one up the Misty Cottage. I just feel like those two are just better. And I feel as though those two mixed together makes Misty Cottage. But I just feel like Misty Cottage just could have been a lot better. I don't know. For me, I kind of wanted more of like a farmhouse rather than this spooky mystery cottage. Um, I just wanted more like of a farmhouse kitchen and more just like it would be cool to have like a little farm with some chickens and stuff like that. Would it be nice? It's it's giving me more spooky vibes, which we kind of already have the creepy furniture pack for and the vintage vibes. It's kind of a mix between those two, but it's just we have the misty cottage as well with this. Um, the, some of the items are actually quite nice. Um, we do have some uh, weird kind of items as well, like this random leaf chair and like a mushroom um, table. Like some of it don't really mix well together. I do like the TV and the fireplace is super cute. Yeah, but for me, I just feel like there could have been so much more done to it. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video of me ranking the home designers. This is my ranking tier list. These are my opinions and my opinions only. Um, maybe yours is different, but honestly, I just feel like this is kind of like my thoughts on everything that's in Tokyo Life World so far in the home designer. Um, yeah, let me know if you agree with my tier list or not. Um, let me know what you would change about it. Um, yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>